Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 121 of my Ocean Block Let's Play. And in today's episode, we're going to tinker around with our uh, mycelial network some more because I'm just I'm having fun. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so let's go see what I've done. Okay, I had to I had to remove all of the integrated uh, dynamics uh, because it was only reading um, the redstone signal from the specific block that you set up the cards for. Uh, so I just went with uh, some good old red alloy wire hooked up uh, to all of my detectors, and I have the detectors set up to watch for. Um, certain items that are used in the construction of <laughs> the items like because uh, I'm not making and storing a bunch of firework rockets I'm crafting it as I go so I'm watching sugarcane and I'm only watching sugarcane because the gunpowder one or the, the TNT one I have watching gunpowder so it's okay <laughs> it's okay um, so I have all of these set up uh, to about 5,000 for each. Um, some of them are different uh, because it's like weird things. Um, uh, which one is one of them that's weird? Oh, the potions. Um, I need to. I need to work on wheat and books. Books is weird. Uh, my skulls are low. I didn't even know that. And I have to work on the air essence and uh, I think it's the dragon essence. Uh, yeah, but pretty much everything is 5,000. I even got it to and the nether stars is 2,000 because they last a really long time. Um, yeah, so I uh, also <laughs> look at that. Ender pearls are under 5,000, so I got like a little ender pearl block and ender lily seeds. I wish I could um, take the ender lily seeds and turn them into ender pearls because. <laughs> look, I got 38,000 ender lily seeds. <laughs> That's from sluicing. So I don't know. Um, it looks like we already have Enderman Essence, uh, so that's good. We could just take a seed from, uh, do we have, we don't even have a seed yet. Is this, oh, okay, they're just black. I expected them to be this color, <laughs> not black. Um, okay, so that's good. Actually, I could probably just um, do a seed. This this would put out straight ender pearls, though. And I don't know that they produce seeds. And I think the straight ender pearls would be preferable to the essence. Because then I won't have to teach it to. Um, make that so I think I'm, I think I'll try this one so I have a little bit of work to do um, to get these guys running but this is keeping them off uh, which is great <laughs> and I had to had to tinker around uh, these detectors do not emit a redstone signal underneath so I guess it's kind of like just the regular redstone repeater uh, where you would put it on top of a block but the signal didn't go to the block underneath it goes to the front or the back respectively to the front really <laughs> um yeah so uh, it took me a while to get this up uh, but i'm happy 
with the results. I think it should work. And even oh, it would be cool if like I were to take this redstone signal uh, from this uh, detector and like turn on a power pot or something that has that specific ingredient in it so it would like automatically <laughs> refill <laughs> that would be kind of cool uh, but I don't know maybe that will be for a later date um, but still really cool I think I can do it um, so let's go plant art uh, I think I want to make another power pot because I only have three down here. I only have the three. And that's doing draconium. That's doing ethereum. I should probably have one for redstone. <laughs> um, and this is doing the dye crop currently. I was going to let it get to about 50,000, I guess. Uh, but we're not there yet. It's at 28. It was at 17 earlier, so that's it shouldn't take it very long. Um, sweet. <laughs> that's moving along really well. I like it, but I'd like to plant this ill ender lily seed, and I don't have enough power pot. I don't want to take that out yet. Um, I think I'll just set up another one right here. Do I have the... No, I don't. I was so happy when I was able to take the lever off of that system and, and let it go. That was pretty cool. Um, so, oh, I do need, I do need one of those. Seed one right there, and then interface. And interface. Uh, now all we need is the power pot. <laughs> uh, it's been a while since I made one of these, but we do have a power pot mark two left, so I don't have to teach it that yet. Um, so we need the power pot mark four, and I think. All of this is set up except um, doesn't oh no it doesn't take chaotic shards okay we should be fine we should be fine okay it already took the mark two which is cool um, So, I think these are the only two ones we don't have it for. While we're waiting on our uh, power pot to make, we can take a look. There's the Wyvern Energy Cores. They've got two, but we only have one Supremium Coal. Plus 683. <sighs> I'm scoffing at 683 supremium. That's a lot of Ethereum. Uh, but it's still not, not enough. We need like 3,000 for each one. Ow. And we need three. <laughs> so we need 9,000. Uh, we need 9,000 supremium essence. Ouch. Still got quite a ways to go in that. We need a lot more Ethereum. All right, let's check on our power pot. Oh, it's not done. Uh, what we might want to do is go up there and check on it. Uh, make sure nothing has gone amiss.
It looks like it hasn't even started it. Okay, let's go. What are you doing? Okay, it's... So we need to go hit the button, I guess. I haven't used this system in a while. I didn't figure it would need to be reset. <laughs> Man! Like a champ, okay, except for the crafter. <laughs> the crafter is throwing keys into my plans. It's no good. Um, I'm so happy I set this up, even though this crafter is giving me all kinds of grief. I wonder if I just put normal crafter on there if it's the netherite crafter specifically because I don't have that many recipes here I can probably get away with normal crafter or even an iron crafter uh, just to see if it's a uh, netherite crafter or crafter period okay Let's go get ready to place uh, our power pot. Um, we also need a point for it. Okay. Um, <laughs> I still I need to come up with a bigger. Uh, power storage. Um, I just don't know what. I think you can make those multi block structures bigger um, with the induction cells. like no in-game documentation for this but uh, like the induction cells uh, the ultimate induction cell like this should just add to capacity if I add uh, like instead of having a three by three if I were to do like a four by four I could put in like six more of these and that that might solve our problems, but um, there's also, I think, um, like an energy storage and energy production from Draconic that I've never actually done before. <laughs> Um, so that might be kind of cool to look at. Look at that, like its own little wrench. How cute. Oops. Oh, my souls. I don't know what those are for. Okay, I guess this is another teleportation device. A dislocator, an advanced dislocator. Oh. Sweet. I still, I would totally like this information tablet. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> um, there's no recipe for it. So much. Okay. Uh, let's check our power, our power pot. Power pot. Oh, we should. Uh, man, I wonder if it needs to be. Uh, 
reset again. Now, this is why I automated it so I wouldn't have to do this, but Oh my goodness. Um What I need it to do is I need it to when this resets also reset the netherite crafter. Ah, that I can do that real quick. Um almost done. I just want to watch and see. There it goes. It did pulse a little, just very briefly, but not over here. Uh, so that could have fixed it. I could have gone straight to level four. I'm always afraid that I'm gonna break the space-time continuum if I come out without using my shrinking device. <laughs> I know I'm just being silly, but um. Dun, 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 dun. Does this give a whole stack of Ender Pearls? Like, oh, I guess it would, would it just be 16? Or would it, <gasps> holy cow, bonga. Uh, we need some stack upgrades pronto. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, Super duper awesome! Let's get some speed upgrades too. There we go. There. Why are you not going? Are you not there? Okay. It wasn't really there. Uh, that is super cool. 
pearls. That was that was a lot of ender pearls. I figured maybe four stacks. Um, four stacks at the most because these aren't supposed to get four. Uh, I'll stack. But that seven, seven was even better. Seven was even better. Oh, um, yeah, somebody did an upgrade stuff. resources I've been wasting. There we go. Uh, what about you? Oh, I do have a stack upgrade in there. I got a stack of one. Why didn't I put a stack upgrade in the other one? So probably won't even need the speed upgrades. Those are always nice because I hate making those by hand, <laughs> but I have it automated now, so it's not as nice as it was before it was automated. Some gold clusters. Um, I don't even know if I can process those anymore. A meat feeder. I think I got a couple of those. Imperium Hammerhead. A basic energizing rod. Yeah, nothing real exciting. But it's still cool. Oh, except for that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That takes care of our um, experience problems. Oh, we still have more integrated dynamics. Oh yeah, I did make, I did make the re reader and writers cool. Oh, there's a lot I don't know about uh, the functionality of integrated dynamics. That would be, um, I would like to get into this some more and learn about the different things this plot can do because uh, I like uh, although it did kind of disappoint me that it would only read the redstone signal from a certain block instead of like a redstone signal that would have been really cool but I don't know how to do that if that's a thing or anything uh, so I need to learn more I need to learn more so uh, let's get all this out look at that um, look at that. I think I only have it to six times, so it should be able to make everything from six. So, and that should just be like a stack. There we go. I'm gonna throw that in there. I'm just gonna throw everything in there. I don't know if I can do anything with that gold. Uh, oh look, it is 
it is crafting it. Uh, or no. It's got, yeah, there it goes. It's 43. Did I? I thought I took almost all of that stuff out uh, with the uh, induction soldiers. I do have a silver nickel. I don't know where it's processing the gold. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, oh, I know where it is. It's downstairs. It's going through here or, or tripling. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. Boy, it's been so long since I set it up, but it's just been working that I didn't have to think about it anymore. learned a lot about mechanism in this. Um, I think I feel comfortable enough I could probably quintuple the ore. Uh, might need some more room, but I did try it, but it was a little bit intimidating um, <laughs> at first. Uh, so now that I've used a mechanism a little bit more and I understand it, um, I might try that again, but this is working. We really don't have a lot of stuff coming in uh, because um, I have the blaze meshes. <laughs> I have the blaze meshes, which are auto smelting everything, so I'm getting ingots and not clusters. And I think only a few. I don't know where I'm getting all this stuff. I have no idea. That's copper. Iron. It's still coming in from somewhere. in the sand uh, because we wouldn't get any um, I think let's look at uh, mesh blazing mesh with sand produces all these ingots what is it? Uh, oh, prosperity shards and electro team. Yeah, we want both of those. Uh, so that's why uh, we have sand uh, going through the diamond mesh, and we're still getting all these nuggets. Although we do, uh, there is no, there is no prosperity shard seed, uh, so we, this is the only way we can get prosperity shards. How are we doing on that? Fifty thousand. We could probably, <laughs> we could probably convert it to uh, to blazing mesh now. Because I don't think we're going to use 50,000 prosperity shards. Uh, <laughs> I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Uh, but 
the Electra team. There are Electra team seeds. See, I'm producing Electra team seeds up the wazoo. Um, but we've got we got twenty four thousand extra from that. Uh, I can always put it in a power pot if I need to. And I need more power pots. Uh, uh, so I probably should um, teach this guy to make the Mark II and the Mark I power pots. Um, I don't remember, is that... Mark one. let's do the Mark II. mesh. Probably not. Yes, that looks correct. That's fine. And then we need, uh, oh, let's, do all of them take cast iron blocks? <laughs> oh, this is one of the only um, systems still in a compacting drawer. That's right, because I had to automate um, cast iron ingots. That's right, that's right. That's down here. So that's why. Where'd you go? Right. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. <laughs> uh, so that's making cast iron ingots. Of course, that be black boom, so we don't need to teach it. It already knows how. Okay, so now we need blaze mesh. Um, the problem is. We don't have blaze rods automated. And I don't have any blaze rods. So we can make blaze rods. Um, I guess I can set that up real quick. Um, the multi servo press, if you put three blaze powder in, you get a blaze rod. I just don't have. A oh wait, I think I do have a multi servo press. Um, no, I think I do have a multi servo press that is um, does have a crafter. So let's get you and see if I can hunt that guy down. I think it's on. Tier three. Multi servo press. This is the one for the coins. I don't want to use that. Is this it? Yes. Okay, this one doesn't have a die or anything. This is what I was using to make all the plates, so that should work just fine. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so that is good, that is good. Um, so now we can teach it to make just the blaze mesh, which is just a normal crafting recipe. Yay! Put you um, over here. 
here. Actually, oops. Let's fill up this one first. All right, and that should be it for that one. And it already knows how to make. Okay, see, it's it's seen that it can make those now. Um, so let's do. Oh, this is also fusion crafting. Um, so all we have to do is teach it. I think we'll probably have to do blocks of emeralds, and it already knows how to make the botany copper pot. Nice. So we just need to teach it emerald blocks. Let's go ahead and grab you. Um, emerald. Oh. Is it still in? A compacting drawer? I didn't think it was, but it looks like we don't need um, to teach it emerald blocks we have back over at the house. And... Okay, then we should be good. We should be able to come in here, add our recipes. A boop and a boop. And then I should be able to uh, craft a power pot from scratch. Okay, power pot mark four. Let's go see if this works. It should. Now that I set that, I want to see that it works. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> It's already sending stuff. Um, oh, I gotta, I gotta add the, the power, or the, I gotta add the, uh, the doodads. I gotta add you. Um, to our filter. New filter. Item stack. And channel green. I believe that's all. So now if I put you in there, I should go to the middle. Nice. Um, we'll probably have to do that with the mark two. I need to add the mark one uh, to that system and then it should work. <laughs> then it should work. Boom! Now, here's the mark one. There it is. Okay, new item stack. Pot mark one. Green. And save. <laughs> Um, I may need to update my power system back here. Um, I'm getting a lot more power now and I could, uh, I could use it to help speed up these crafts. Oh yeah, I want to see if, okay, here comes the tier three. Awesome. Okay, it did it all by itself. Um, I think I have, that's the wrong thing, I think I have ultimate universal cables. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't know how to make flux cores. Well, I can teach it that. Okay, let's go do that real quick. Teaching it flux cores. how to make flux dust. I only have like 32. I never taught it to do any of this stuff. I've only gotten, uh, I've only used what I've gotten from quest rewards other than like I did the initial quest. Um, so we may need to teach it how to also do flux dust. How to, is that only in the jars? Tempered glass jars, yeah. Um, so it's either this is titanium dust. Oh, titanium dust. We would have to teach it that. Because uh, I have a pulverizer and an enrichment chamber that is automatable. So, and I don't think um, since my stuff is going out to where am I sending the titanium is that even one that can go down there or is there okay I don't know where the titanium is going uh, this is like silver and nickel those can't be put through um, since I guess silver and nickel is a thermal uh, metal, it, it this is what I'm guessing. <laughs> it doesn't go through the um, the mechanism machines, so that's kind of stinky. But it's cool. Do you get titanium? Just even getting the titanium clusters anymore uh, unless it comes from sand does this come it looks like it only comes from gravel so we're not getting uh, titanium clusters anymore we're just getting titanium uh, bars so that's cool it won't like eat our dust or anything uh, so we can just teach it to um, pulverize, or is this an enrichment chamber? No, oh, just a frenzy factory. We could just do the pulverizer since it's right there. Um,
Oh, I need to process this. I want to use... Oh, I'm going to need to get you in the pulverizer. Oh, you're a furnace. You're a furnace. What am I doing? Okay, so now we get the dust. Did it eat my dust? <laughs> um, let's look. I still furnace. Yes. <laughs> ah. All right. Uh, dust. There we go. Oh, dang it. It's processing. Can okay, you go there? Boink, boink. Um, yeah, we can put you in there. Um, this is going to take a little bit of doing to set this system up, but I've done it before uh, with the um, what do we got over here? Soulstone cobble I've got automated. Um, I've also got clay automated, so it's nothing new, just a crafter and a chest hooked up to the little jar system and it's good to go but i will set this up um and get our uh flux core so we can have more points <laughs> uh to hook to our network uh so yeah anyway uh we're gonna go ahead and call the episode here i thank you for watching and we'll see you next time